Good afternoon. My name is Mr Lane. I'm here this afternoon to talk to you about the English Literature A-Level course at the Garibaldi School. Firstly, why choose English Literature? And I'll start not with the text, not with the books, but with the kinds of skills we hope to instill in our students here. Because what we want by the end of year 13 are students that have got an eye for detail. Students that really understand the nuance, the accuracy, the implications of the text that they studied. Because what this means is that by the time you've been trained in analysing large bodies of evidence, you'll be the kind of students that understand the bigger picture, but you'll be the kind of students that could literally spot the fake news from the real news. The kinds of students that employers would want to employ throughout the 21st century. And that means if you leave here with an A-level in English Literature, and go to university to study English Literature, or whichever ch course you choose, then you're 84% likely to get a graduate job, which means you'll be earning the big bucks. More importantly, though, I think you'll be able to choose the kinds of jobs you possibly wouldn't expect to be linked to English literature. Yes, we produce writers and broadcasters and producers, but actually literature students go on to be lawyers, to be management consultants, civil servants. We even get some stand-up comedians. Not me, of course. That's because the kinds of books you've studied throughout the two-year course are the kinds of books that are worth studying. We've chosen each one really carefully, not just because they're classic texts, but because we think the students at our school will love them. And if you love GCSE English Literature, you're going to love A-level English Literature. And I'll start with Othello. A GCSE, Romeo and Juliet, fantastic tragedy, but it was one of Shakespeare's early plays. It was good, but it's not his best. Othello is his best. It's about a character that's a noble, heroic character that's tricked into murdering his wife for absolutely no reason. At the end of the play, the tragic consequences, it's a fascinating look at the human condition. On top of that, though, we've got books such as Caroline Duffy's collection of poems, Feminine Gospels. Now, Duffy's interesting because she's the first woman to be put in as a poet laureate as a 10-year post. Up until then, for 400 years, every poet laureate was a man. And what this collection of poems has done, it's redressed the balance. It's almost rewritten history from a female perspective. They're the kinds of poems that have changed attitudes over the years. And that's why she was appointed as our Poet Laureate. If you don't love poetry, don't panic. There's a whole range of American texts. We get A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. A really interesting gritty drama set in the South of America about Blanche and about Stanley. If you don't like that, we've got The Colour Purple. There'll be something on this course that you absolutely love. Again, the colour purple set in the deep south of America. If you didn't come here to study American text, then we've got Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre, classic English novel. It's the kind of book you possibly wouldn't pick up and read by choice. But by about chapter seven or eight, it's the kind of book you'll feel, this is actually quite good. This is really quite interesting. It's the kind of book that's perfect to read and perfect for studying. We've also got huge collections of poetry. We've got unseen texts. There's a whole range of books. If you don't like reading, obviously, please don't choose this course. But if you've liked the reading the text at GCSE English Literature, I guarantee there are texts on this A-level course you will absolutely love. And they'll bring out the best students in you. And you do need to be a good student. There are two exams in this subject. We've got a three-hour beast, Love Through the Ages, and again, that's Othello, Jane Eyre, some unseen love poetry. But we've also got a two and a half hour exam. So there is quite a commitment to studying and revising. Feminine Gospels, Colour Purple, Streetcar and some unseen prose. However, if you're the kind of student that doesn't want to solely rely on examinations at the end of a two year course, this course still keeps some coursework. And that means for students who like to spend time, students like to focus, you get to choose two books of your own choice and write a piece of coursework based on those. And 20% of your final grade actually goes on the coursework component. So if you're the sort of student that finds exams difficult, there's still hope in this subject. And to be fair, the system works. Over the last five years, no student at A-level in English literature has achieved less than a grade D. And most achieve considerably higher than that. So... If you liked English Literature A-Level, if you like writing, if you like reading, then this is the kind of course I think you would absolutely love. Thank you very much indeed for listening.